Okay, for the main build, I'm going with this old Citation. You see the A pillars are a little bit messed up. The windshield's pushed in, but it's still there. I'm going to go ahead and hit the uh, windshield with um, flits and a uh, buffer wheel on my um, cordless uh, rotary tool and clean that up, but it's in pretty good shape. And I got newer wheels that can pop on there that look just like this. But I'm going to go ahead and do a re re um, resto on this one. And I found someone online that's going to go ahead and make me some decals, so. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start off with this 510 that I did. You guys saw the citation I was working on. And, uh, this is the 510 wagon that I wanted to ha also wanted to do because, uh, he and I both like the simple paint jobs. I went ahead and did this one in kind of a silverish gray color. Of course, wheel swap, headlights, all that good stuff. Um... We have a detail lights. Yeah, detail lights in this one. Anyways, um, Bog and I both like the fact that, you know, you can sometimes find these without a bunch of crap all over and stuff, so we like the simple 510s. I went with the wagon on this one. And, uh, I think I'm pretty damn cool. The wheels look appropriate to me. But yeah, this is for Bog. <coughs> And hopefully his family's probably watching all these diecast mafia um, tribute build and here's the citation i picked i think it picked out the perfect color match wheels or whatever the perfect matching wheels off of a newer casting i went ahead and buffed out the windshield with flits and a q-tip and a battery charged um rotary tool little buffer wheel that took forever to do I smacked out the um, roof a little bit this way because it was crushed down in front a bit and the A-pillars are both bent up so I took some duck nose, um, needle nose pliers, duck nose pliers, what do you want to call them, and just mushed them until they went ahead and changed shape. I had Steve color match it with some nail polish that he thinned out and the decals, like I said, I got off of eBay. They're really thin. I'm glad there was like three sets of them because the first set I ruined trying to put them on my vision is dog crap so um this is luckily the second set went on just fine that centered him pretty good with the q-tip and i think the color actually matches pretty damn close of course yes it's full roller duh. anyways um i don't know what to say See, it's harder for people like me because I'm an atheist. I can't get all religious and stuff because there's no religion involved. But, um, like I said before, if there is a way for him to possibly see this, I hope he appreciates what we've done and that he knows that he was missed by everybody in the community. And, uh, you guys make sure you check out everybody else's builds. I know there's a bunch of them out there right now. Dan did it, BJ did it, Ron did it, Chancey Gloss. I knew there's a bunch of people that did it. There's goddamn trucks going by. Anyways, um, it's all for Bug, Red Room Diecast, we'll miss you buddy. Thank <laughs> you.